Hi and welcome to Pebbles channel. So we were dealing with topics related to science for grade 3 and 4 and we seen about plants, the different types of plants and where the plants grow like some plants grow in the plains, some grow in the mountains, some in the desert areas, some in the swampy or marshy places and they are named according to the places where they survive. Some plants give away or shed all their leaves and develop new leaves. There are certain trees that shed only a few leaves and gain new leaves. So there are differences between plants. When it comes to the desert areas, the cactus plant is the only plant that can survive in the desert areas where there is little or no rainfall and they store water in their stems and they have spines on their stems in the place of leaves and these spines allow, does not allow water to flow out and also protects the plants from animals. The next is the parts of the plant, we have seen that the part of the plant that grows below the ground is your root and the part that grows above the ground is the shoot. And the leaves are known as the kitchen or food factory of the plant because it manufactures food or prepares food for the plant in the presence of sunlight and carbon dioxide and plants take in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen and this oxygen is used by humans and animals to breathe in. So that is the reason why people are advised not to cut down trees because because of the presence of trees the air is pure and fresh and clean for us to breathe in. In the case of deforestation or cutting down of trees, the air is becomes no is not able, we are not able to breathe in. Next is we have seen about the animals and the classification of the animals. So classification of animals has been done into seven major groups. That is your kingdom, your phylum or your division, the class, the order, the family the genus and your species. The kingdom is the largest in the group, the phylum is the second largest and the species is the smallest in the group. There, there are different types of animals that is your insects, your birds, your reptiles and your mammals and the birds can be differentiated according to the type of beak and its claws and birds also help plants and humans as well. The next is animals can be classified according to the intake of its food. They are classified into herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Herbivores are animals that depend entirely on plants for its food. The next is your carnivores. There are animals that eat the flesh of other animals and hence they are termed as carnivores. The next is your omnivores. They depend both on plants as well as animals for their food and hence are termed as omnivores. They have no particular choice. In the case of absence of plants, they eat flesh and vice versa. In the case of absence of flesh, they eat plants and satisfy themselves. So animals that eat other plants are termed as herbivores. Animals that eat the flesh of other animals are termed as carnivores and animals that eat both plants as well as other animals are termed as omnivores. So we will be going into detail about the different types of animals that is your insects, your birds, your reptiles and your mammals.